Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And to do this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. Now to design this kind of part, first you go for all add material feature and then you go for remove material feature. So let's start this part with this base. And for this, go to extrude onto the front datum plane, normal. Now draw the center rectangle, just like this. Now the dimension, so this is 48 and this is 36. Say OK. Flip the direction and this is again 48. Say OK. So the base is ready. Now the next feature is this cylindrical portion. And for this, one second go to extrude. Select this surface, normal. Now draw the circle. Now the dia of this circle is 30. So make it 30. Say OK. Again flip the direction. Now this length is from here till here which is nothing but 84 plus 36 plus 24. So make it 84 plus 36 plus 24. Say ok. Now the next feature is this one and for this one second go to extrude. Select the stop datum plane. Now go for reference, select this as a reference, draw the circle, just like this. Now the dia of circle is 60, say ok. Now the height in this side is half of the 30 plus 12, so make it 15 plus 12. The second direction, so second direction it is 25, it is 15 plus 10, 25, say ok. Now the next feature is this leg and for this go to extrude, select the right datum plane, normal, draw a circle. Somewhere here, make it tangent, then draw a line from here till here, then from this corner to tangent of this circle and then you close it. Go for delete segment, delete this segment, now the dimension, so this is 15. Then from here till here, this is 50, say ok. Now this is 36, 12 plus 12 plus 12, make it symmetry and say ok. Next is this feature and for this extrude, again write datum plane normal. Now draw a circle just like this, then line, start from here, vertical till this reference, then from here make it tangent and then close it. Go for delete segment, delete this segment. Now this distance is this plus this. So this distance will be 36 plus 24. And from here till here, this height is not given here. They have given from here till this top surface 15. 
So, take distance from here till this top surface. So, this is 15. Now, this is 18. Then, this gap is 30. So, take from this center till here, this is 30. Say ok. Now, this is 12. Make it symmetry and say ok. So, all add material features are done. Now, I will go with remove material feature. So, let us start with this feature and for this go to extrude, write datum plane, normal, go to project, project this line, this curve, this line and this line. Say ok. Now, this is 12, make it symmetry and say ok. Now, the next feature is these holes. So, let us switch on the center axis first. So, we do not have any axis for this hole placement and this hole placement, but here you have a center axis because this is a complete circle. So, when you have complete circle, you get a center axis, but this is half circle and that is why there is no center axis. So, let us create the center axis first. So, I will edit this feature first. And I will simply place one datum point here. So, this will generate the center axis automatically. So, now you got one center axis. Similarly, edit this feature. and place the datum point somewhere here. Say ok. So, this will add the center axis. So, here also you got the center axis. Now, go for hole, select this surface, press and hold control key and select this axis. Now, this is 12 and make it through all. Say ok and it is done. Similarly, this hole. So, go to hole, select this surface, press and hold control key and select the center axis. Now, this dia is 18 and this is through all. So, make it through all. And say ok. Next is this hole. So, go to hole, select this top surface. Drag this handle to this surface and this handle to this surface. Now, this is 24 and this is also 24. Now, this is a standard hole. So, change it to standard. Select ISO here and then drop it down and select M14 into 2. Now, this you make it 2 next. And so, okay. So, this is the threaded hole. Now, the next feature is this hole. So, go to hole, select this surface, then center axis, make it 2 next, die is 18, say so, okay. Again, hole onto this surface, this die is 25, make it 2 next, and say so, okay. Now, the last feature is this round. So, go to round, select this edge, this edge, this edge and this edge and say ok. So, the part is done. So, this was the machine part in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now, you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.